good morning and welcome to our uh, digital business breakfast. My name is uh, Maciej Meder. I'm a managing director at uh, the TB office in Warsaw, and I have a pleasure to moderate today's meeting. The title of our webinar um, today is Internet of Things, um, IoT in payments and uh, ecosystems opportunities for financial institutions. And actually every year, the number of devices connected to internet increases dramatically. We talk here about uh, wearables, uh, home appliances, smart home systems, cars, or even recently solar systems. Some of the, uh, these devices can trigger autonomous payments and different possibilities are already in use using card schemes, instant payments, or even alternative uh, payment systems. During the today's discussion, we'd like to explain the concept of, of IoT and IoT payments, present selected case studies, and discuss the implications for the financial um, industry. I'm very glad uh, to welcome today my uh, colleagues from the Payments Practice Group, uh, Sebastian Guse, Senior Manager in our Munich office, uh, and Piotr Wojtuszko, Senior Manager from the Warsaw office of ZTB. I'm glad okay. that you accepted my invitation today. Welcome. Uh, please note that the meeting is uh, recorded and it will be published in, in a few days on our web page. As always on our meetings, um, feel free to comment or ask questions using the uh, chat uh, uh, function in, in Teams or uh, slide on details about this uh, shortly. So uh, before we start the discussion, uh, about IoT and payments, uh, I would like to, to ask the participants, the audience, about uh, your view on IoT payments. And it would be great if you could uh, uh, follow the link. Uh, so either you enter slido.com and enter the hashtag IoT, or use the QR code, or uh, shortly I will also post uh, the link to, uh, to this uh, poll uh, in, our, in our chat function. And if you could answer um, three very short questions. First one about uh, if the Internet of Things is already on your agenda. Um, secondly, how do you rate potential in IoT, in, in finance uh, or, or banking in particular? And also maybe if you have idea or opinion about the most promising use cases in Internet of Things in, in finance and banking, um, if you could also enter um, your ideas here and um, later during the webinar, we will come back uh, to the results and, and share it with you and, uh, and, and discuss it. Uh, so let us start maybe with a very short uh, introduction of, of IoT. Actually, what kind of IoT devices are already on the market and also what are the forecasts for the future? Sebastian, if you could uh, comment on that, please. Yes, uh, very, very warm, good morning from my side, Dzień dobry. Okay, so there are different definitions of Internet of Things. Uh, that's why I think it's quite useful to start with some kind of synchronization, what we call Internet of Things. So actually what we, we're speaking about uh, with, the, with this term is uh, devices that which are able to exchange and collect data without human interaction. So we have, have a uh, the very known refrigerator being able to order uh, milk if, if it's missing in, in, in the fridge, uh, do the payments without a person uh, being required to, to run any activities for it. And this, of course, uh, is a very known example of the fridge, but it might be a, a car connected to internet. It might be a transportation vehicle being uh, a tram being uh, a train. It might be a smart home taking care of uh, different activities. On the next slide, we have some uh, we have some use cases more or less popular. Of course, these are the private uh, topics. More of them can go into the industri industrial usage of uh, Internet of Things, being uh, factories ordering things for for the, for the from for the supply chain and so on and so on. This is the device side of Internet of Things. On the banking side, we are speaking about banking products and services addressing the, uh, the, 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 the needs of Internet of Things use cases, like uh, more micro-defined uh, 
products, more micro-defined payments with uh, costs. We'll be speaking about some cost aspects going forwards. And of course, part of the banking is is clearly about the payments. So uh, the fruits are paying for the milk or here in Munich area for, for the beer. Or uh, it's uh, car paying for my wife's shopping or fuel or recharging of electrical cars and so on and so on. So this is the main okay. definition of IoT. Okay, and um, do we have any forecasts about how the popularity of the devices will, will grow? Maybe yeah, actually there are a, a lot of forecast d discussions. There is still not that much for the banking itself, for the payments, but it can be derived from the clear forecasts for uh, IoT devices themselves. So looking at the figures on, on this slide, on the left side, we have a number of devices currently in the previous years and the focus for the next year. And on the right side, we see what are the areas, what are the topics, the IT, IoT uh, devices we will come up. So we see clearly that uh, currently the growth is, is very significant uh, in the last in the last years already, and the forecast is just being going hugely uh, up uh, in different countries. On the left side, uh, as you see, the hope it's somehow stable. Uh, the very one in, on the chart from 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 the bottom is exactly Europe, and Europe is the, is one of the top three uh, users or. Up uh, the, uh, uh, areas where, where IoT is being applied. So we actually in the middle of the whole story. And also on the right side, if we look at it, it's not only about the fridge uh, ordering uh, milk, it's also about uh, agriculture, it's about uh, industrial usage of machines being able to exchange data, to, to, to generate data, to trigger data and of course looking at the number of the devices it's quite i think obvious that most of them will be somehow uh, related to uh, to the banking topics to the payment topics so also this iot ecosystem will start uh, to cooperate automatically with with our banking financial awards and also the growth will be uh, quite significant uh -huh. So maybe, um, Piotr, uh, let's try to focus on uh, banking or finance and just have a look uh, what could be the potential application or what is the actual application of IoT in, in, in banking and finance. Uh, yes, thank you. But before we present some IoT use cases, I would like to, to talk about different levels of the connectivity of devices to Internet that might be considered. So the first level is very basic. The device is just sending raw data over internet with regards to its usage, consumption of, of consumables, utilization, and so on. And this data might be used for different purposes, but any, any kind of analysis of this data is done outside the device. The second level is that device is already using or uh, applying some analysis with regards to this raw data, and the, only the result is sending um, to the to the to the external counterparty. In fact, there are already many devices that are doing this kind of analysis. As you as you can observe, coffee machine is uh, displaying different uh, messages about the need to exchange the filter. The car is displaying the information about the need to, to for the service or for, 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 for the visit at the, at the garage. Or vending machines. Or the vending machines, yes, exactly. The third level is how to say how this service request is uh, process is is then uh, sent directly to the to the vendor of the of the machine or, or the device, and then the the, the the device is ordering the service, uh, the maintenance visit by itself, or ordering some consumables. And the third thing is the third level is that I would say the machine is initiating I would say next steps in the in this process. So not only the ordering the the maintenance visit, ordering the 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 the, uh, the order of the some consumables, but also initiating the payment process. They might be already making a payment if the if there is a payment method associated with the device or starting just the process of the payment. And actually, and if we if we look uh, on the on the different group of purposes when IoT uh, 
solutions might be used. We can distinguish four or five areas. One is the personal usage. So and this is about the fridge ordering food, uh, about the cars, about the mobile phones. Um, another area is the smart cities, but it's not only about the cities, it's a smart, smart home, so, uh, smart office. So any, any solutions that are related to the ordering, um, ordering uh, water, energy, uh, and other supplies that are needed um, in a daily life. Also some uh, smart solutions related to parking, transportation. Next area is retail services, so unattended retail shopping and the services uh, or, or, um, that are offered based on the analysis of the consumption. It might be it might be the the pay TV, might be insurance services, um, price per per use, and finally there is industrial uh, consumption. So any application related to to the production plan and the sending requests for uh, with regards to the ordering some stocks, uh, servicing uh, requests and so on. If we speak how this might be used in banking, I think the first level is quite interesting. And uh, the, the, the raw data that can be sent over internet by devices by, might be used for different purposes by banking in the banking financial industry. One is uh, to use this for applying uh, specific uh, pricing methods, pay per use, but also some data might be used in other areas, for example, um, the use of the machines that are financed by the bank might provide some input in order to make analysis with regards to probability of default. If the machine is not properly utilized, underutilized, it might provide some indication that uh, there might be a problem with the repayment. Uh, another aspect that might be interesting for banks is to build the infrastructure that will enable uh, Internet of Things payments, but uh, we will discuss this or present this in a, in a, in a couple of minutes. OK, thanks. Um, maybe then, um, I mean, one of the, I think, very common use cases uh, is, is the, the, the car industry or automotive. And um, I know that uh, I would say this topic is not only already discussed, but uh, already implemented by, by some of the players or during the implementation of the some, some of the players. So maybe Sebastian, if you could share um, some insights on, on the automotive industry, what, what are the applications here and especially what are the forecasts for the, for the future? Yes, sure. So I'm, I'm, I'm based in Munich, so actually the cars, the automotives is actually uh, my part. Um, I, I think looking at what is happening on the market, what discussions or past projects are being started, automotive is exactly the industry getting going first with the in in, in the area of uh, Internet of Things. It's for a very, very obvious reason. A car being a personal car or being a truck is just perfect uh, Internet of Think things uh, device so you can identify a car with the plates with the numbers uh, most of the current cars are connected to internet or the huge wave of autonomous driving is is, 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 is reaching uh, our life our world our highways actually there's a focus that uh, trucks are being uh, driving without the driver we, we get uh, already on the, on, on the highways, but we get into, let's say, commercial usage uh, for, for, for delivery of goods in, in next years. So for obvious reason, the car will have to be able to pay for itself for, you know, for the talk, for the fuel, for the maintenance, because there is just no driver inside. So the car will be uh, the object triggering and uh, doing the payment, uh, of course. On the, for the private usage, we speak about uh, the car wallets. Uh, you, you know, these days you can pay uh, almost everything with with your with your mobile phone. Now, looking at the complexity of the mobile phone and complexity that the the, uh, the, the, techno the technolo technological uh, uh, highlights of a car. It should be actually quite easy. The car is more complex, more sophisticated than uh, than the mobile phone. So the car should be actually the the brilliant, the perfect uh, 
wallet, the pay, even the payment method for us for the for the for, for the uh, for the daily life. So that's why this on the slides you see disruption delivered. If you compare the the user experience of of the payments activities within the car, where at the end the driver has to pay, and you, you will compare it to to the disruption delivered by all the ne neo banks, by all the fintechs. There is still, still a gap that the car makers uh, will have to reduce. So huge potential, and it's all based on the fact that car is the perfect IoT topic. Um, of course, the, the very interesting question is if we get trucks driving autonomously on the highways, what are the banking services required for it? Is it a credit card uh, in, the, in, the, in the back, which seems very easy, but to be honest, is it Again, the case that uh, the credit card providers will get all the revenues or might be your banks, our customers, which can get into the play. Uh, a very interesting topics. Another topic are the risk models. If I have all the data about the car, about the behavior of the driver, I can score the car, score the person, the driver, uh, and uh, propose better uh, offering. Uh, risk-based offering according to the way his, his or she is, is, is driving, uh, accord, according to the uh, state of the maintenance of the car being done as required or maybe every two, three years only, and so on, so on. So I'm also not, I'm also not only speaking about the banking, I also can speak about uh, insurance products that we enter the scene as the car can provide a lot of data related to it. And there are a lot of hundreds of different use cases around the car as an IoT device, uh, which of course you can, uh, your ideas also share into the chat and into the slide, uh, in, into the site of, as, as uh, Magic uh, provided on the chat. So that's shortly. So Sebastian, maybe if we could uh, um, a bit discuss uh, the, the topic of uh, of cars, because I think it's um, I think close to everybody. But <laughs> everybody has a car. Everybody has a car, but probably also we are talking as well as as, as you mentioned, not only about the cars, but also about the trucks. Yeah? And, uh, <laughs> and and you mentioned trucks uh, uh, driving autonomously on the on the on the motor highways. Um, it, it on the first glance, okay, everybody knows that there are some tests about autonomous uh, driving, but I mean, now we're talking about some very distant future. I mean, in your opinion, based on your discussions also with the with the manufacturers, um, I mean, are we talking about the future in twenty years, or it's it's a it's a short uh, it's a shorter uh, horizon time horizon? Yeah, of course, we, we're not allowed to, to share all the details we hear from our discussions with customers. But at the first glance, it's actually very interesting because the first autonomous, it's somehow related to the Munich, even it was in the United States, the first autonomous delivery of, of beer, of, actually it was beer for a long distance in the US, USA, actually took place be, be, before year 2000. So that was the first delivery of a goods with autonomously driving uh, driving trucks for, I don't remember how many kilometers, but it was actually a huge run. But looking at Germany, we have already some uh, some pilots, some test uh, uh, testing uh, vehicles on, on, on the highways, also here in area of Mini. Quite obvious, we have some of the car makers here and in the direction of Stuttgart. But uh, actually, what, what they told us is uh, something that the commercial usage will, of, of autonomously driving trucks will come actually in the next two or maybe three years on the highway first. Uh, it's, I think it's quite obvious. Uh, highways is, you know, you can put additional infrastructure on the highway in order to, to get the communication or information into the truck, into the systems. In the cities, it's, it's, it's a bit more complex. So the idea is to start to, to start with uh, highways and draft a need to the highways, build uh, centers where the goods will be loaded down from from the autonomously driving trucks and put into the further vehicles, which will be then uh, 
uh, we, where the drivers will be in, in, in order to, 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 to manage the complexity of the cities. But the cars, we're not speaking about car uh, driving from, let's call it, uh, Hamburg to Munich and it's done. We're speaking about cars actually starting, let's call it, somewhere in Sweden. One of the uh, car makers is, is from there. Uh, it's strongly involved in autonomous driving. And the car will go on the highway, delivering, let's call it, goods in to, to, to Madrid. And this car we, we have to keep driving. So once arrived in Madrid, the next uh, the next job will be to continue to, let's call it Morocco, let's call it to, uh, to, to Warsaw going forward and so on. And this car will meet different infrastructures on the highway because it's, it's not standardized yet and probably will not be standardized that soon. This car will meet uh, different payment systems. This car will meet uh, different uh, maintenance companies, few station providers, and so on. And all this stuff has to be aggregated in order uh, by payment provider in order to assume that the car will not be the bank uh, driving on the wheels, rather that we'll just use open APIs interfaces to a serious payment provider in order to uh do this uh, do its job and pay for for all whatever is required and that's why it's quite interesting what, what is the banking leasing payments uh, offering from the financial industry in order to make this car or uh, the, the, the truck driving through across the europe uh, getting all this stuff settled Mm -hmm. But on one end, I mean, we are talking about uh, settlement of, of payments and that, that the car can pay for the motorway. Yeah, I mean, Germany is for free. In other countries, you have to pay something, you have to pay for fuel. But on the other side, usually these cars are leased. So I understand that also certain per, per, per use uh, models can be then better implied than, than today. Is, it, uh, is my understanding correct? Absolutely, yes. What we today call pay per use is something like, uh, you know, renting a car or renting uh, a, a driving service for, uh, for for or days or one week or two weeks or whatsoever. But entering the IoT scene with all this data available, we can actually do a real 100% per, per, per use. So the usage of the car, the way how it will be used, the kilometers driven, and so all this data can be analyzed to even more precisely uh, calculate the, the usage of the car. And of course, for such a, for such for such uh, ideas, uh, there must be a, a leasing per, per use product offered by financials for it. Otherwise, it's, it's not working. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what I what I take from this that this uh, future on, on um, autonomous driving and a possible application of, um, of 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 the payments and and new also pay per use models is not so distant. So it's a couple of couple of years probably. I mean, this will be already more commercially commercially driven. And uh, and this opens a lot of also I think uh, new possibilities. I mean, first of all, pricing models, but also for some additional services which which can be can be provided uh, provided uh, on the way. Yeah, Great, exactly. Sebastian. Uh, maybe if we could jump back because uh, we uh, at the beginning uh, wanted to share the link to the slide, or you can find it to in the comments, uh, but I see that there are only a couple of answers from you. So and we have much more people here uh, in the in the call. So uh, it would be great if you could jump on slider.com. I enter IOT hashtag or use this link uh, or QR code, which you see currently currently on the on the screen. I will also uh, send it uh, again uh, in the in the chat if you have not received it yet, uh, if you joined later during our call. And maybe now, uh, Piotr, if we could uh, move back um, to the topic of uh, payments uh, within the IoT topic. So, I mean, we said, OK, we have this, for instance, truck <laughs> traveling from Madrid to Warsaw or, or the other di uh, dimension, uh, in other direction. 
And, and, and the question is, OK, we have the car. The car is connected to, to Internet. And uh, so we have a huge uh, multi-ton uh, wallet driving. Yeah. And so how, how, how it should uh, work or how it works already? Yeah, one of the solutions is to open an account for, for this car, but probably it's a, it's a, it's a distant future. <clears throat> Our view is that initially um, the, the IoT payments will be based on the existing uh, payment infrastructure, payment methods, but of course some adaptions are, are needed in order to ensure that I would say that the payments are also processed automatically uh, without any, any, any manual intervention or any need for additional authorization or approvals, etc. But I would say let's start how this uh, from the general view, how this uh, scheme why IoT payments may look like. So the client, in order to, to use the service, client needs to set up the service or so connect the car, for example, to the gas station so the car can pay for the for the fuel tank. So and also the client needs to select Apart from the, I would say, indication of the what is the car, what is the registration plates, also needs to establish the the payment method if he wants to pay by credit card, debit card, maybe other different means of payment. Then when the car, I would say, is uh, is uh, paying a visit to the gas station at, at the moment uh, when the when the uh, fuel is, uh, I would say, tanked, and uh, the payment is initiated, and then merchant, the gas station needs to use the services we call it. IoT payment gateway. So this will be a entity or the, the 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 facilitator that will connect merchants to various methods of payments. And uh, this is uh, a topic of uh, the, the solution that is already applied for e-commerce when the when the merchants are using this kind of services in order to enable clients various type of payments. And this gateway is connecting them uh, with the different payment schemes like a card scheme, clearing house, depending on the payment that was selected, and is uh, processing all the steps with regards to payment initiation, authorization, and then the payment is uh, processed either as a, as a card transaction or as a transfer, as direct debit, and uh, finally the client uh, that is paying uh, for the service, his account is being debited. And the, the 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 account of the merchant is being credited. Of course, the question is if if this scheme will trigger any changes with regards to the payment patterns. So, for example, at the moment, gas station payments are most of them are buy now, pay now. Is it is it going to change towards buy now, pay later? So the 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 gas station is charging the client on a on a monthly basis sending the invoice for all the visits in the gas station or there might be also some services that will uh, to, that will migrate towards pay now by later so some some small payments for for usage of the uh, parking or of the highways might be I would say prepaid by the client and then they will be charged uh, by usage uh, also the question is if the payment methods that are currently available are fitting I would say for for this scheme some some of them seems quite expensive if we talk, if we speak about the credit cards and small payments. So there might be there might be other variation of the payments uh, implemented, or there will be acceleration of initiatives. For example, request for pay. This is initiative in Western Europe in EU. So this my IoT payments might accelerate this kind of uh, this kind of uh, schemes so or payment methods that are much uh, much less expensive um, uh, for, for, for merchants. Um, the question here is what what role can banks play in this uh, in this ecosystem or in this system of payments? Uh, first of all, they, they can, I would say, play a role of the IoT payment gateway. Um, bank, banks a bit overslept the rest of the e-commerce. So if you look at the, at the, at the market situation for e-commerce payment gateways, banks are I would say banks' market share is very substantial. So the, in, in Poland or the other country, countries in, in Europe, the, the ma major players that are providing this kind of services for e-commerce are um, from outside banking industry. Mm -hmm. uh, these are new entrants. So this might be a time maybe for banks to consider this opportunity and then to, to, to step into this role. The second thing is that if you think about the car, and the different different merchants or, or counterparties, the car the car will need to pay gas station, highways, parking. 
I'll say is the question how the process, how how convenient would be the process to set up all those uh, services and all, all these authorizations for the car. So this might be a good opportunity for the banks to offer mobile banking as a kind of an aggregator of this kind of uh, services. So the bank and the client can use mobile banking application in order to 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 set up this this kind of services and, and authorize car to pay for for highway or for 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 the gas at the gas station. Maybe here the question, because if I look on the on the scheme, yeah, I think the the most uh, difficult point at the moment is this link be, be, between the merchant and the payment gateway, right? Because yes. I mean, when the car, I mean, even the autonomous car is arriving to the to the gas station uh, or to the highway and has to pay toll for the for for the highway, there must must be some connectivity. Yeah? Yes, and I mean. Uh, I guess, do we assume here that I would say we need some additional infrastructure here? I mean, we, we also have to think that in the future it's not about gas, but probably about electric cars. Yes. So this truck will not be any more uh, diesel uh, run, but this will be probably electric uh, car. Yeah? So this adds some additional complexity and, and, and you need some kind of, uh, I'll say, clearing system. So. Do I understand correctly that we also need to have certain change into the infrastructure, existing infrastructure, or there are some... Uh, yeah, around? definitely, I would say this connection between gateways and merchants will need to be built, because currently, for example, gas station is typically accepting the, the credit card payments on mm -hmm. spot or cash payment, but they are not using other payment methods. So in order to, to enable clients to use other payment methods, this connection needs to be established in order to... to to enable client to select if he wants to pay by card, by payment transfer, or direct debit, or whatever, whatever else. So th this will be the, the the key the key element that needs to be developed, and it needs to be developed, I would say, uh, in a cooperation between banks and and, and merchants and and uh, uh, manufacturers, because all this uh, this ecosystem will only make sense if all the parties are involved and then they will establish certain standards. So. There is no need each time to discuss what is the standard for exchanging data between the car and different gas stations because otherwise it will super complicate the system. So probably we need here also the say gas station or infrastructure providers plus probably also the manufacturers of so devices. Yes, also devices. should be the part of the discussion. As I said, in order to establish, I would say certain standards, so so there is no need to redo or implement every connection and any, any combination of the device and, and measure from scratch uh, for any new cases. Uh -huh. But also if we look on this on the scheme, it's uh, pretty much similar to what we have currently. Yeah? So yes. I mean, maybe we would accept of this connection between the payment gateway and the, and the merchant, which we uh, at the moment also do not have or not, not always have uh, in, in, all, in all cases. The question is, are these schemes are going to evolve somehow in, in, the, in terms of direction? Um, I know in, before the meeting we discussed, uh, say digital currencies, will this change somehow the picture? I would say uh, there might be two directions. First of all, there might be a change of uh, payment methods or payment patterns. I would say at the moment when the client is, customer is going to the gas station, he's a bit anonymous for the gas station because they, they maybe they can recognize the plates but they, know, they don't know the client. If the client will set up the service, he needs to somehow, I would say, become known to the, to, the, to the gas station. So the gas station may offer different type of payments. It doesn't have to be payment on spot. It might be a, a payment, uh, later payments, so in, in, a, in, a, in a kind of a, a cycles or, or periodical payments. So this is this is one the one one of the directions. The second direction is that the current infrastructure will be is quite costly if we speak about the, all the entities that are involved in the process. So race of the IoT uh, devices and the need for 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 creation of the more efficient payments may accelerate the the implementation of digital currencies. There are already ongoing discussions. There is a, a bill or directive plan to be issued by European Union. Uh, next year. So, if if we look about the possibility to use the digital currency, I would say the the lower part of this picture would be removed immediately, and the client would just I would say 
initiate the, the payment from his wallet into the wallet of the merchant without any intermediary. So this would create the whole scheme, the whole setup much more eff efficient and less costly. But uh, is this again the question like I asked Sebastian regarding uh, autonomous driving? I mean, if we are talking about the digital currencies also, I mean, are we talking about a very distant future? I mean, is it still in which phase are the discussions on, on, on that to topic? And okay. what is our assumption about when it will be really there tangibly? I would say it's a it's a it's a it's a it's a it's still a future, but uh, it's not so distant future. Digital currencies are already implemented even on a country level in some countries. So I, I think it, there is some reluctance in Europe, but it, it doesn't mean that nothing is happening. There are different discussions, different use cases that are being tested or or, or checked if they make sense. This is not only with regards to retail. Uh, digital currencies. There are also use cases for the wholesale banking uh, for wholesale. Uh, use cases so to use the digital currencies in the in the settlements between banks so i think it's a it's a matter of a uh, couple of years when when they will be finally introduced and then will become more and more popular with regards to different application in a in a in a in a, in a daily life mm -hmm. maybe uh, let's uh, have a, a short look on the um, uh, questions uh, and and answers which uh, which we got from from the from the participants. If we look on the poll, uh, don't hesitate uh, uh, to still to, to to make the voting uh, and add. We have currently not so many answers uh, um, on the topic, but if we look on the Internet of Things, is it already on the agenda? Uh, a majority, great majority, answered no. Uh, there are some who are already discussing. Uh, that and uh, um, uh, some, but only a few who said yes. This is this is already already a tangible uh, tangible uh, topic. Mm, if we look on the potential, I think we are somehow here. Also, great majority ranked it um, mm, as as medium. 25% uh, high and 13% percent, percent uh, um, low. And if we if we look on the on the different topics, the different use cases which which are were, which were um, mentioned. I mean, we have use-based insurance, data analytics, micropayments, which we which we mentioned, and also banks assuring uh, um, security. So I guess that you get uh, I know that the vending machine is. Has been stolen, or um, or maybe there are some additional services which which are provided here. Um, Sebastian, maybe based also on your discussions with um, institutions, uh, financial institutions, also vendors, uh, are you somehow surprised by the by the answers? What is what is your uh, your view on uh, on the results presented here? Mm -hmm. uh, actually, actually, there is no big surprise. If we look at the very first question, whether it's on your agenda or not, most of the institutes just do not have on the agenda yet. The discussions are being are starting now because the wave is coming. There is is a lot of rumors around the focus of IoT devices. It's it's just entering the scene. So I think it's not that we will be speaking about next steps uh, in some uh, in the next minutes. But it's not it's not that surprising. Um, looking at the potentials, medium is some, I would say it's somehow between medium and high. So medium is actually a, 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 a very good, good uh, I think, estimate, uh, fit, fitting what we we discussing. So it's not that, you know, we will be do a complete revolution of the, of the banking array environment, of the financing environment. But there will be an impact just because of the amount of transactions, amount of accounts, amount of whatever topics will come up. Like a very interesting question will be in example where with a car, whether a device uh, might have a credit worthiness, whether a device can get a BNPL. So they, they will, it will come and we, it's actually not hitting uh, the banking and finance. Medium is okay. And I think for for uh, the, the the last question, the use cases actually, I I think on the on the next page I have 
seen insurance. Insurance is currently uh, looking at beyond banking topics. Insurance, uh, CDB is also involved in insurance topic. So insurance is hardly thinking about, uh, uh, it's, it's, it's not getting into stronger into the IoT space because IoT data driven uh, products will just deliver more information to 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 to, to ma make uh, insurance offering more precise, more uh, real time base and uh, based on the behavior of of of, of the related activities. Um, I think again, it's not that we will have a huge revolution this year, but it's coming. Okay. Um, we also encourage you to to ask questions via the the, the chat function, or you can also use the the provided link um, to slide down. So we are just watching if uh, if there is anything um, any any questions from you. So don't hesitate just to just to ask the questions uh, because we have uh, still a couple of minutes uh, left during our um, webinar today. So maybe um, Sebastian, uh, next question uh, to you because I think it's just also interesting to, to discuss. Uh, okay, I mean, we are generally not talking about the very distant future. So we know that already a lot of pilots um, are being done. Um, there are a lot of discussions, uh, also concepts being developed because the topic is new. So you have to basically try to think uh, um, out of the box and, and develop maybe also new business models or adapt existing uh, business models um, uh, to, to this new trend. The question uh, to you is uh, how uh, we as a TB are helping our clients in this journey or how we could help in, in in such a topic like uh, like uh, IoT. Mm -hmm. So I think I would say I have one very good news, for, uh, two good news for you, and one challenge that we, we have to be looking at. The very good news is the very first one is that the market is still open. There is not such a, a, a bank that is which is really able to claim I'm the bank for Internet of Things in Europe. I'm the number one. There are some banks in Japan claiming to be Internet of Things banks number one, but not in Europe, not in other areas. So this is open. You can, uh, the shares are available, the market shares are still available, the revenues, you can just take them. And of course, you can be the first movers. Uh, I, th I think it's also related to to what uh, Piot said previously, and this is the challenge. Don't get fintechs uh, steal all the shares again, like by e-commerce, because they're coming, they're getting prepared. If you're looking at the startups scene, there is a lot of rumors and first uh, movers on the fintech side, and they will come. They came for e-commerce shares, market shares, and they will also come for IoT market shares. I think what is a very, very fast question we support customers, we can support you on, is your positioning. Being a bank, being a payment provider, what is your strategy toward IoT payments? I think building infrastructure, building uh, solutions is will be one of the next steps, but a very first step that should be addressed is the strategy and positioning. So your choice, how much money, do I want to get out of the IT, uh, IoT banking for my institute, for my shareholders? This is the question we can support and we should deal with it actually now. Uh, the second one is are the use cases. Not everyone, not each institute, all institutes have to cover all the use cases at the same time. It's just not possible because the complexity uh, is too high, but that's why, by the way, it's so interesting because the complexity is high. Um, so the, the next question will be, what are the use cases we after, or you institute will be after, and thereafter start to pilot. New areas can't be, shouldn't be approached with huge concepts to be written or discussed for years, do a pilot. Let us together go to 
industrial part of the IoT, like paying the fuel or gas stations or providers for uh, highway infrastructure or smart cities. And let's start a pilot. Let's let's build a first understanding, first uh, implementation to get things running, to get to, to gain experience on your banks, to get on your banking side, on the financial side, get experience on the on the industrial IoT device side. So the things will start to roll. And after we can prepare the roadmap uh, and so on. On this way, as you see on some, some of the bullets on this slide, uh, I think it's important to, to explain the topics to your uh, stakeholders and shareholders. On, on your side, we can clearly support on it. Uh, we can define uh, products, whether being more uh, leasing per, per, uh, pay per, per use oriented or for micro payments and so on and so on, uh, without reading all this, uh, all the bullet points from the slide that would be our proposal towards C. Perfect, thank you, Sebastian. I mean, here uh, more about uh, the future, what could be done. Maybe, Piot, if you just could comment on, on one of the projects which we have uh, done uh, recently, which mm -hmm. uh, also combines the, the question of uh, payments and, and also um, IoT, uh, at least in some, I would say, some limited, uh, maybe at the moment, uh, scope, because the topic is not so broad but if you just could comment on on on, on this reference just to just to show that we are not talking about some i'd say only distant uh, concepts uh, virtual concepts but mm -hmm. the real projects which 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 happens already i say the need to to automatize certain i'd say processes is already existing so so some of the use cases are not new so the car paying for the for the highway is not something automatically for the for the highway is not something that is new or not existing there are different solutions um, because everybody wants to automatize the processes to to, to limit the, the need for the manual efforts or manual um, interventions in the process and we were supporting such a such a concept in in Italy when we when the bank and the provider of uh, or provider of infrastructure services I mean operate highway operator, Establish the joint venture in order to implement the solution that will enable to to clients to pay automatically for the for the highway using uh, the directly charging uh, banking accounts. Uh, also, the the application was not only to be used uh, with regards to the highway usage, uh, but also for for other services that might be that might be around the, the car. So uh, also for the pay, paying for the parking, but also. Uh, very very similar services, even going beyond the scope uh, of the of the provider of the services. So uh, there were functions added, including I would say payment for the car sharing, ordering the taxi. So everything around mobility in one application. Uh, so we 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 uh, supported the bank and the, and the provider of the services to set up this the project, common project uh, to define the requirements, define the technical requirements, business requirements evaluate different scenarios, different options, and then and, and we we were also playing the role of the coordination and the joint project manager for, for this endeavor. Okay. Also, what I would like to, 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 to point out, that this is what Sebastian presented is very much towards IoT of payments, but also there is another topic. It, it, it was even mentioned in the poll, it's a data analytics. So the question here is, I would say, Having access to the data that will be sent by devices, what is the what is the, the the best or potential usage of this data? How banks and financial institutions can 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 leverage access to this data? We we discussed or mentioned pricing uh, using this data in the per risk management. Per per use models. Per per use, models, per use uh, applying this uh, certain information in a in a in a risk management, either evaluation of the credit worthiness of the client, but also monitoring of the of the client so this is also interesting uh, area for the banks for the exploration how to how to efficiently having access to this data how to efficiently use them for other processes that are run in the bank mm -hmm. and uh, maybe the the very last question uh, to, to both of you um, um, regarding um, 
what will be next? So, I mean, if you would just uh, put your bet, I would say, what would be the the first really, I would say, broadly applied commercial cases in the IoT payments, what uh, would it be, uh, Sebastian? Maybe if you just could. I, I think it's, it's very clear, it's about autonomously uh, driving trucks. It will come, we will meet them on the streets and they will pay for itself, for themselves. Mm -hmm. That's the number one. Okay, perfect. M my, view, it will, my view is that also it will be around cars, but it will be I would say using information about the car usage by leasing companies or, or entities that are financing the cars for different purposes, mostly risk management. But also, I would say, to provide different pricing models, uh, not only the, 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 the one we know, but also per, per, per use models. Okay, great. Uh, Piotr Sebastian, thank you very much uh, for uh, for sharing your thoughts uh, um, uh, today. I would like also to thank all the participants for for joining us uh, today, also for sharing your views um, on uh, on the topic. There, uh, I would like to thank you for 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 this, and um, definitely would like to uh, to continue the discussion. So, if if you uh, found something interesting, inspiring uh, today during the webinar, or you would like uh, um, to discuss this topic further, or you would like to uh, ask to, to present this to, to your colleagues in the bank because you found it interesting and, and future-oriented, please uh, do not hesitate uh, to reach out uh, to us. We would be really glad just to come into a discussion and, and, and dis discuss with you um, practical implications of the topic, practical examples and, and use cases, how can they be applied. Uh, we will definitely share the, the presentation, uh, which, uh, which I mean, the couple of slides which uh, we shown uh, or used as illustration for, for our uh, talk uh, um, uh, today. So this will be sent uh, later in the, in the afternoon. If you missed parts of the webinar or you would like to share it with your colleagues, we will also publish this on our web page um, uh, next week uh, after probably mid of, mid, of, mid of next week will be published and we will send the link also to you in the, in the email after, after the meeting um, uh, today. Um, in the chat, you also find the link to the uh, questionnaire. If you could just provide your feedback about this webinar, this is very, very important for us just to also learn your views and also your ideas about the, the future meetings. And if we speak about the future meeting, uh, uh, please block your calendars on 26th of, uh, of, of May. This will be the next uh, uh, um, business breakfast. This time we'll try to do it uh, physically on site in Warsaw, so uh, we will also distribute the information uh, beginning beginning of May um, and we would like to discuss on this meeting uh, the strategies of, of banks in the in the current volatile times and the implications for the future. So once again, thank you very much uh, for being with us um, and hopefully uh, we hear from you and we stay in touch. Thank you very much. Thank you Have very nice much. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.